It is stark. Australia has the highest melanoma rate in the world, with one Australian diagnosed with the disease every 30 minutes and one Australian dying from melanoma every five hours. But if caught early, treatment advances over the last decade has seen life expectancy go through the roof. Now, this story is personal for me. In the last 12 months, I have had four melanoma operations, one on my temple and three on my back, all caught early because of my vigilance with skin checking, but all requiring time on the operating table. Dr Anika Smith is a dermatologist at the Melanoma Institute of Australia. She joins me now. Doctor, good evening. I was surprised to learn that COVID has had a negative impact when it comes to getting our skin checked. Just how significant has it been? That's right, Peter. Look, COVID had, has had a far-reaching impact. We've seen a reduction in patient numbers presenting for skin checks during the COVID-19 pandemic. At the Melanoma Institute alone, there's been a 20% drop in patient numbers presenting for potentially life-saving skin checks and treatment. And we're obviously concerned, as you said, in the country with the leading rates of melanoma in the world, uh, with leading cancer that affects the younger demographic, where one person will die every six hours. We're genuinely concerned that we're going to see a rebound in melanoma diagnoses, missed, delayed diagnoses, presenting at a far later stage, more advanced disease, which is obviously associated with a much poorer prognosis. As you alluded to, early detection of melanoma is key. Uh, if melanoma is detected early, there's a far greater chance of survival and cure. If it's detected late, there's a far greater chance of that melanoma spreading to distant sites and management becomes much more complicated. So I think as we emerge from this unprecedented time, it's really important we prioritise our health and our skin health in particular. We check our skin for anything new or changing, go and get our skin checked, particularly if we've put it off during the pandemic. And as we head into summer, we're, we're sun safe because we know that that can prevent the majority of melanomas. Well, you're about to launch a campaign to get us moving on our skin checks. Tell me about it. That's right, Game On Mole is back for the third year, but this year the message is more important than ever. It's a call to action for all Australians, particularly young Australians, to take melanoma seriously, join the fight against melanoma and help us save lives this summer. And essentially the campaign was designed to start potentially life-saving conversations about early detection and primary prevention, which we know are key to saving lives with this deadly disease. And we'd love Australia to get behind the campaign and support us and help us save some lives this summer. And before we say goodnight, over the last last 10 years we have had significant progress in treatments for melanoma. What's the most significant uh, advancement that you've seen? Look, I think it's fair to say that the treatment landscape for advanced melanoma has completely been revolutionised in recent times with the adjunct of immunotherapy and targeted therapies. They've increased the life expectancy of, of sufferers with advanced melanoma markedly. But I think it's important to note that they're not a cure-all, they don't work for everyone. And at the core of our efforts to fight this deadly disease, primary prevention and early detection remain at the forefront and really this is what the campaign's all about. Okay, well good luck with the campaign. The key is stop talking about getting your skin checked. Go and do it. Dr Anika Smith from the Melanoma Institute of Australia, thanks for your time. Thank you.